The magical pen. It is a normal sunny day at school, and May was left dazed and blank during a class. While doodling in her notebook during class, she stumbled upon a mysterious, sparkly pen. When she used the pen to draw a whimsical butterfly, it miraculously came to life. May held unbelievable thoughts and drew another frog in her notebook. Unbelievably, the frog came to life and hopped onto Jonathan's head. The magical pen granted her the incredible ability to bring her drawings to life. During recess, May couldn't resist the temptation to draw a beautiful unicorn. Her classmates were amazed as they watched the magical unicorn scamper around the schoolyard. Though her artistic creations brought immense joy, they also presented unexpected challenges. Once, an enormous dragon emerged from her notebook, creating a little chaos in the classroom. May had to employ her creative problem-solving skills to return the dragon to her notebook. The day was filled with excitement, laughter, and the unexpected joys of her newfound magical pen. Suddenly someone woke her out of imagination, and she was left stumbling as Ms. Lee was staring at her deadly. She immediately apologized to Ms. Lee as she was not paying attention to her class. She realized it was just a dream, but at least it was the wildest dream she had ever had. Costume Day one sunny day at school, May heard the exciting news about Costume Day. May and her bestie, Aisha, eager to embrace the fun, decided to dress as their favorite characters. May chose to be Elsa from the movie Frozen, complete with a fancy princess dress. Aisha transformed into Snow White, complete with a beautiful dress and a fake poison apple. Their classmates also embraced the theme, Luca transformed into Spider-Man wearing a full suit. Jonathan switched up to cosplay Charlie Chaplin, his favorite comedian, complete with a thick mustache and a classic hat. The school buzzed with excitement as students portrayed their favorite characters. May, in her princess outfit, imagined soaring through the snow and building ice buildings. Aisha in her snow-white outfit pictured herself dancing with the prince in a school hallway. Luca in his Spider-Man outfit visualized saving the world with his special ability and making everyone live in peace. While Jonathan in his Charlie Chaplin outfit made everyone laugh with his skits and jokes. Even Ms. Lee transformed into Wonder Woman, complete with a striking costume and a rope in hand. The day was filled with laughter as they shared historical tales and celebrated their idols. The costume day not only brought fantasy to life but also strengthened their friendship. The story ends as the characters reflect on their wonderful day of costumes and fun. A visit from famous author One morning, their school buzzed with anticipation as a famous children's comic author, Mr. Eddie, was about to pay a visit. Just when May thought it would be an ordinary day, little did she know that today would turn into a magical adventure. The students had watched his enchanting comic, and they couldn't wait to meet him. As Mr. Eddie began to speak, his words seemed to come to life. Characters from his stories appeared to life, much to the astonishment of May and Aisha. Talking animals, daring pirates, and whimsical wizards filled the room. May and Aisha found themselves in the midst of an extraordinary adventure. They befriended a wise owl, helped a brave knight, and even rescued a captured princess. The visit was not just an ordinary author talk, it was a fantasy journey. As the magical wind subsided, May and her bestie returned to their classroom. The experience of being a part of Mr. Eddie's stories left an indelible mark on May and her classmates. It ignited their imaginations and planted the seeds of creativity, encouraging them to write their own stories. Mr. Eddie farewells the students and motivates them to be better persons in life. May is inspired by Mr. Eddie, she wants to be an author that brings joy to everyone. The story ends with the characters reflecting on their magical day with Mr. Eddie.